Hello friends, this is Kevin, aka Kman1, coming at you with another episode of Okami. In the last episode, we came here to Agata Forest and restored the Guardian Sapling, and got some small hints as to what we're going to need to do in the future. Also, we traded with this guy, we finally found a use for our Demon Fangs. And in this episode, we're going to be running around Agata Forest, seeing all the different stuff we can do. This might be a little bit cut heavy just because there are a lot of things I want to take care of and I don't want to be here for forever, but we'll just go ahead and deal with that as we are able. Just went ahead and sold that real quick. Um, it's not important that I did, but I did. I didn't buy anything because I don't need to. I'm not going to deal with this walnut for a while. So... Just getting an idea. If we go over this way, then it's just going to be an impassable point. So I think the best thing to do would just kind of be run around in circles and make sure there's nothing here that isn't easy to take care of that I won't take care of. Over here, there's a small curse zone that we're going to go ahead and rejuvenate, res restorate, restore. I don't know. I don't know how English works. And so we recover a couple bunnies, which is pretty nice. But we also get some praise, which is also pretty nice. And is there anything else around here? Nope, looks like there is not. So what we're going to want to do now is jump up over onto this ledge and run our way up and grab a cherry bomb. Not grab, but draw. And I want to say, I just heard like the call for night and I'm pretty sure there's a buried chest in here. So I might just wait a couple more seconds for it to be nighttime, so it'll be easier to find instead of just sticking around randomly. Also, as for this, we can't do anything about this yet. Actually, I lied. The chest we were going to get is this one right here, which is a stray bead. Very, very nice. And so, over here, there is a devil gate, which I'm going to go ahead and cut out, just for the sake of brevity, unless something hilarious happens. Alright, so that was that Devil Gate. Um, nothing we can do there yet. You know what, let's go ahead and talk to Susana. Hmm, not you again, Fido. Tsk tsk, why must you always dog my footstep? Get it? Dog his footstep. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm busy practicing a new secret technique. You see a terrible monster lurks in Taka Pass beyond this forest. It goes by the name Crimson Something or Other. And it's rumored to have 100 followers. What do you mean, Crimson something or other? The name slipped my mind, that's all. Anyways, I must rid Taka Pass of that terrible monster before it harms anyone else. But first, I must practice my ultimate secret technique. Then again, the bridge to Taka Pass is out, so why rush? And have no fear. Once I master that technique, I shall venture forth to slay the beast, even if I have to swim those turbid waters. Now leave me, you cur. Now leave me be, you cur. I have some serious training to do. Well, that's Susano for you. Not really much to say about that. And yes, as far as the peace spell, demon scrolls will not bother you at all. Very, very handy for when you don't feel like getting into a bunch of fights. But you can still like run into them and battle them manually if you so desire. It's now nighttime, which is cool, I guess. All right, um, I was actually right to check this merchant again. This is the first time you're able to buy gold dust. Um, every now and again, you'll come across a merchant who will have as many as two sets of gold dust you're gonna wanna buy them. They're usually not that expensive, but I'm gonna go ahead and use them to, well, use one of them to power up my devout beads. Very, very nice. And so I finally have a strong rosary, cause you haven't really seen a lot of battles with the rosary, but it is pretty dang powerful even without being upgraded. So definitely very much worth your time to go and buy that. Plus it's only 5,000 yen to upgrade it. So that's like $50 to deal way more damage. That's, that's a bargain right there. Anyways, if you go into here, then there is a cave. And what do we do with caves behind small waterfalls? Well, we restore the dead area. This is actually a pretty uncommon occurrence, so what do I know? Anyways, we don't get praise instantaneously, apparently. But we do get this thing that we can bloom. 
And what is inside it, you might be asking? An incense burner, so something to sell. I love when nature gives me money. And there's another swirly thing right there, but it's nothing we can do right now. There's some deer, and I don't recall if there's anything else we can do around here, but I just wanted to go ahead and point out this area just so you know it exists. But it looks like there isn't anything left for us to do over here. Or is there? Just kidding, there really isn't. But if you follow this path, then I'll lead back to Shinshu Field, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I was right. Um, which is going to be useful in the near future, actually. So, I think at this point I've done enough dilly-dallying, so I am going to go ahead and do what it is that we're supposed- Ah, there's the thing here. And we obtained glass reeds. Nice. So, time to go over and talk to this kid. Or it's nighttime and he's asleep. Z oh, where, where did my little dog go? Hmm? Hey, let the porky go. Okay, this needs to be daytime. Fortunately, we have the power to make it daytime. Alright. Oh, poor Ume, I wonder if he's okay. Oh, hello there, doggy. You all alone too? I'm Kokari. Pleased to meet you. Boy of the forest, Kokari. What? What? This? This is my fishing pole. Actually, there's no fishing line or hook on it right now, but there's a reason for that. My dog Ume and I were exploring a secret place the other day, an ancient building known as the Suta Ruins. We'd never been able to get into the ruins until we found a key deep in the forest. But when we went in, we heard a horrible roar from deep within. I didn't waste any time getting out of there. I locked the entrance to the ruins and hightailed it home. I thought Ume had followed me, but he was nowhere to be found. I bet he's trapped back at those ruins. He must be crying, all scared and alone. If you know where he is, then why don't you go rescue him? This is no time to be fishing. Yes, well, there's a reason for that. You see, on my way home from the ruins, I fell near the water's edge and in went the key. I've tried my hardest to fish it back out, but I've lost all my line and hooks. All I have now is this pole. Wah! Stop whining, you dingus. I've tried my hardest to... Alright, just gonna knock some sense into the kid. Now cut that out. There's nothing I hate more than a crybaby. You were the one who left your dog in those dangerous ruins, so you gotta do whatever it takes to get the key and go help him. But... Listen here, kid. Fishing's all about attitude. Attitude! There's nothing you can't reach right with the right attitude. Fish, babes, or whatever, it all can be yours. Go ahead, act like you're having fun. We'll watch. And so now it's time for... A fishing minigame! It's honestly not that bad as far as fishing minigames go, but... Boy, this murky water sure gives me the creeps. People call it Deep Abyss because they can't see the bottom, but that's not why these waters are famous. Legend has it a humongous fish swallowed the moon reflected on the surface of the water. No one knows if the legend is true, but to this day, the moon never rises here in Agata Forest. Give the fairy tales a rest, will you, kid? They're so gloomy. Think more positive. Have fun! Fun! Okay, Ami. Let's use that celestial brush of yours to help him out. There should be some fishing line on his pole, but there's not. Well, just make some by drawing a line from the pole to a fish. So yes, in order to do the fishing minigame, what you're going to want to do is what Easton just said, and draw a line from the pole to the fish. Careful now, kid. Don't pull with all your might, you'll just wear yourself out. Just reel it in nice and slow. So what you're going to want to do is hold the analog stick in the opposite direction that the fish is currently going, and slowly pull it in, and when it's close enough, you've got a quick time event to pull it out of the water. And here we got a crawfish or a lobster or something. We got a crawfish. Nice. I was right the first time. And so we got to do this a couple more times, and you're pretty much always going to want to go for the biggest fish in the pond, um, because um, you'll be able to sell them, and bigger fish generally sell for more, is just a general rule. And it's another crawfish. Uh, there are a handful of different fish, and there's like a whole like lexicon for them, but... I'm not gonna go out of my way to catch all of them because it's not important. Anyways, there's a big fish. So, let's go ahead and uh, see if we can't pull it out. This is going to be the hardest to pull out. Uh, as you can see, the green area is actually smaller than it was before. And that's actually pretty funny looking. And we got it. And it is the giant salmon. And 
with the salmon comes once the loading screen goes. Will I be able to get a Demon Fang? I might. Alright. Heart of the cards! We got a Demon Fang. I still haven't gotten the other loading screen correctly, but I've gotten that one multiple times. Wow, that's a big one. Hmm? Hey! The, that's the Ruins Key. It popped right out of the mouth of that big old fish. Now I can go save Ume over at the ruins. I'm gonna go all the way in this kit, all the way in this time. No running away from me now. And Ami just go ahead and steals it. Hey, give that back! <laughs> Good move, Ami. We can't have the kid getting hurt on on your watch. Well, what are we waiting for? We got a lost dog to find in Suta ruins. So yes, it is time to head over towards these Suta Ruins. And, well, normally I wouldn't start a dungeon in the middle of an episode. This will be a pretty short episode if I don't, so... Actually, I have something else in mind that we can do instead of starting the dungeon proper, but I'm going to go ahead and unlock it so that we can take care of it in the near future. But here's the entrance to Suta Ruins, and, well, we could go in, but let's not quite yet. There's a tip on enhancing weapons, which we already know how to do, and have had the opportunity. Sorry, dear, I'll feed you now to make up for my crimes. Alright. So you might remember that walnut. Well, we're not going to make use of that quite yet. I'm going to feed these birds. I'm going to feed them. Don't judge me. All right, that's going to be the last animal I feed this episode, I promise. Future me, don't make a liar out of me. So, we are going to be heading over this way. And I don't remember where the walnut is. Actually, I do remember, now that I think of it. So I know where the walnut is, but that's not the first thing we're going to be taking care of. First thing we're going to be taking care of is... It's somewhere around here, I'm pretty sure. Where are you? Where are you? Ah, this cabbage thing. What we're gonna want to do is deal with the ball pushing physics. Ball, ball pushing. Ball, ball. <sighs> yes, we're we're gonna need to push this up this hill right here. And really the only downside to accidentally knocking it down the hill is that you have to push it back up. But I'm really not feeling it. And actually on my personal file of this game, I never actually got because there are three things you need to push over. But I only got two of them on my personal file. And so it's Sleepy the Bear. Finally. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He went back to sleep? Boy, I sure wish I could sleep like that. Well, we get 10 praise for our troubles, so I can't be too mad. Well, I mean, I can. And I'm gonna. But anyways, to the walnut. All right. So for the walnut, it's basically the same deal. You just gotta push it a little bit farther. And I'm pretty sure they can go into the water, no problem. I know that's true for the third thing you need to push up, but I'm not sure about the, the cabbage thingy and the walnut. But they are a little bit tricky to get out of the water sometimes. So that's just something to keep in mind. The walnut's actually pretty easy to roll because it is... Um, make a liar out of me, why don't you? But fortunately, things are going fairly well in our favor, and this is terribly painful to do if you don't have the peace spell, because you gotta take care of all the demon scrolls and stuff ahead of time. But since I have the peace spell, I can just kind of ignore them. Alright. And just gonna push this up. Come on. Be good. Be good, fam. And ah, uh, nope. Don't fall. Don't fall. Don't fall. And I don't know if this is actually supposed to be a walnut, or if I'm just calling it a walnut because of my uneducated American whatever. But anyways, this one went pretty easy as well, so 
Hopefully, my whining isn't going to make a liar out of me, but hey, what's the worst that could happen? Finally! Oh, you gotta be kidding me, you went back- yeah, this is the same cutscene as before, so I'll just go ahead and I got an amount of praise, I want to say it was- okay, it was another 10 from the look of it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and get another unit of solar energy. Uh, next thing I'm gonna upgrade is actually going to be my money, because each upgrade you give basically gives you an extra digit. And I'm starting to get into areas where I'm going to easily uh, fill up five digits. Is it five? How much money? Yeah, I'm going to start to get to the point where I'm easily filling up five digits fairly soon. So I'm going to go ahead and add that six. So now there's one more thing that we need to roll. I'm not really looking forward to this. But I'm going to do it, dang it. I am going to do it. If I can right now. If I can't, then I'm just going to ignore it until later. But, where are you, you darn thing? I think it's that up there. Not that, but... Oh, wait, there you are. There you are, you stupid thing. I'm gonna go ahead and bloom these bugs right quick. Get some coral fragment, and some coral fragment. And whatever this is, it's probably gonna be like a holy bone or an exorcism slip. And it's actually a steel fist socket. Pretty nice, but not overly useful. Anyways, what we're gonna wanna do is power slash this down. Fortunately, there are no bees or anything we need to be concerned about. But now we need to push this over as well. Um, fortunately, since it can go into the water, it's not going to be as, an as annoying as the others, I say, as it proves to be the most annoying one so far. And actually, I don't know what direction I'm facing. Okay, I need to go this way. That's the way I need to go. And what's annoying about this one is it's got this little stem here. The stem messes with the ball pushing physics. Sound evil? It is. I hate this thing so much, so hopefully it'll go fast and easy. Hopefully. But I'm absolutely not banking on that. Alright, I'm just gonna work its thing over here. Come on, come on, come on. Alright. Alright. Alright, phase one complete. Now we just gotta get it rolled up the hill. And you can kind of hug the wall to make it a little bit easier, but that's not a completely viable strategy the entire way up, so it's not something I'm personally going to be relying on. And nope, don't fall, don't fall, no, 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 fall. Alright, it's now night time, and the thing is still roll. Stop moving, you stupid thing. No, 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 no. No, you are not going to fall down. I am going to best you, you foul thingy. Thing. Thing. Stop being stupid. Stop being stupid. No, no, no. Okay, okay, we're stable, we're stable. We're not stable, we're not stable. Okay, we're stable. We're, st we're not stable! We are very not stable. Okay. Alright. Alright, we can do this. Don't believe in yourself. Believe in the me who believes in the you who believes in the me who believes in me who believes in you who believes in you who believes in me. I'm talking to myself, so none of that made any darn sense. But near the top almost, but this is where it gets really, really tricky. But you can actually hug the wall to make things a little bit easier for you. I did it! I did it in one try! Assuming I can get it over here, but it should be pretty easy. Awesome! I didn't expect it to be that easy. And so he jumps onto it, and he's very, very happy. Did he finally open his eyes? Guess he really likes the sphere. And we get 20 praise for our troubles. Awesome. And now we can examine him. Still, I just can't tell what kind of sphere he likes the best. Well, this one evidently. And I believe that the mythological character that guy is based off of is Totoro, who also had a Miyazaki film based off of him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I can think of to take care of in this episode. So we did a handful of things around Agata Forest and opened up the way to the Suta Ruins. And in the next episode, we are finally going to be entering the Suta Ruins and seeing about 
finishing that then. Okay, bye.